Amsterdam, Haifa, Vienna, Hanoi, Mexico City. Bon appétit. Prost. Le Haim, Besaha, Le Cor, Le Cor, Le Cor. Ça coûte mille gars. Magnifico. Pizza margarita. Macchiato. Donner kebab. Schnitzel. Escargot. Tagine. Trains. Boats. Tuk tuk. Ice skating. Horses. Fish. Snakes. Worms. And grasshoppers. You guessed it right. It's the best out there. Remarkable encounters, amazing experiences, incredible flavors, funny conversations, and frightening moments. These are only but a few ways to describe my search for street food around the world. I have exactly 24 hours to sit back, relax, and reminisce. Do you ever think how it all started? I mean, there's a first time for everything, isn't it? Can you imagine a world without sewage or dental care, without antibiotics? Well, frankly, I can. But to imagine that there was a time where humans lived on this earth without pizza margarita, it's unheard of. Shocking, I tell you. Damn well shocking. Well, in Napoli, they couldn't stand it anymore. In 1780, they came up with an ingenious invention. I'm very excited and a bit um, in awe because I know that in this place, the pizza margarita was invented. Yes, it was invented in 1889 by Mr. Raffaele Esposito, that was the pizza maker at this time. The story say that uh, Mr. Raffaele Esposito and his wife, Maria Giovanna Brandi, mm -hmm. went to Capodimonte in the house of the king and made pizza with uh, tomato, with mozzarella cheese and basil, the tricolor of the Italian flag. White, White red, red, and green. green. And when the queen asked to the man, what is the name of this dish? The man say, in your honor, Margarita. Oh, is that her? She. This is Margarita. Margarita. Beautiful. She looks nothing like the pizza, does she? Do you want to try to make a pizza? Yes, very yes. much. Let's go. OK, I'm ready. So where do we start? Is this a specific type of dough? Yes. Is there a secret behind it? Oh, I cannot say. Oh, say, just cannot give us, say. oh man, just give oh. us a little hint. Okay, the dough must live about 12 hours. Okay. Originally, it's a very simple food. I mean, yeah. it's a very, it's a street food. Because of this margarita pizza, it became suddenly royal. Of course, this is simple. The better thing is the simple thing. The genius is yes. always the in, genius. The, in the simplicity. Okay, so mozzarella, basilico. Do you need to put love into it? Amore. Amore. Amore pizza. Ah! Right. Yes! Ah! Now, how long do we wait? 60 to 90 seconds. Wow! That's really quick. Yeah. Usually pizza takes 10 minutes, you know, 7 no. minutes, 8 no, minutes. No, 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 no. Just really. God. Mmm. Anzo. Anzo. <laughs> It's so beautiful, Anzo. Okay, kiss me. Oh, okay, let's eat. When you travel around the world, you have to communicate in many different languages. Lucky for me, I speak fluently 13 different languages. Guten Morgen. Rahat il hulkum. Besaha. Turtala. Mofkonka. And this is without counting the 34 different dialects of Hindi I know. What is he putting on there? Green patty. Hari patty, what is Hari patty. Haripati, 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 Kata, Kata, Supari, 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 Pakka, Kacha, Pakka, Kacha, yeah, all right. <laughs> is it a snack? No, no, this is not a snack. Then what is it? This is for the pan. Oh, okay. In the mouth? Yeah. yeah. Show me. Yeah. You go. You, you first. That's for me, Panadi. Okay. 
All in once. Uh, yeah, all, in all in once. once. Okay. okay. One pan going down. Being a street food man, I've seen a lot. I've experienced many things. You might say I've grown to be a wiser man. Now, with all the modesty, today when I visit a place, I know the name of the game. For a successful haggling in the Marrakesh market, there are three golden rules. One, do not show any enthusiasm. Oh, my God! This is the most amazing slipper I've ever seen in my entire life! Two, be persistent. So how much is it? 150. Oh, sounds fine. And three, if all that doesn't work, just go to another stand. All right, I'll take them. Take it from the master. You can think of time in terms of food, the expectations of a good meal in the future, the taste and joy in your mouth in the present, and the flavor of knowledge from the past. My favorite way of learning history is through food. In Istanbul, it was remarkable. Hello! Hello, how are, how are you? you? Good to nice see you. Nice to see you. Oh, so, it's really cold. It's I never really imagined cold. Turkey as a cold but, place. But I mean, you just, you know, wear the stuff. You, you look like yeah, I'm in Alaska. So. I'm very well equipped. <laughs> so let's start before let's it start. gets okay. really crowded then. Okay. All right, uh, after okay. you then. What's the street food back in Ottoman times? Uh, in Ottoman times, actually, you cannot see that, you know, a lot of street foods on the street and so on. Because, you know, that eating, eating on the street is not advisable. Because, you know, it's a kind of a disrespect to others and so on. So it should have been, you know, that hidden corners, you know, that they, behind the, you know, walls and so on, that you can find it. That's the stuffed mussels, incredible flavors. You take it, you know, you just open that, okay, like this. Uh -huh. Wow! Some lemons, and then what you do, you just you know get like that, like a scoop it up with yeah, the one half. It, yeah, like a spoon. Oh, yeah. This looks amazing! Okay. Oh my god, yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is lovely. Right, cheers. Mmm. Oh. Damn. This is brilliant. It's so surprising. You open up the mussel, and then you have this cinnamon flavor. Yes. It's fabulous. This is unique Istanbul food during the Ottoman, one of the you know most highest selling item on the street, and still it is there. And I tell you, as a chef, I'm not, you know, tending to produce in my kitchen because I cannot produce, you know, that flavorful one like these people, you know, doing here. You can't do it in a restaurant like no. it is in the street. No. no. Now those no. are very no. yes. wise words. This is yes. what I'm saying. This is a boza, fermented crack wheat. Fermented crack wheat. Yes. All right. What's this? Cinnamon. You Cinnamon. know, on the top. Yeah. All right. You know, roasted chickpeas, yeah? So, here we go. <laughs> oh, OK. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. It's like a beer milkshake. Yeah? Really great drink. Is there anything else in here? Mm -hmm. This is the very old shop since uh -huh. 1935. This place? Yeah, this place. Wow. And this is very typical, you know, wow, that look shop. look at all these yes. pickles. Yes, Look. <laughs> oh, my god. I mean, they pickle everything. For example, this is green plums. Pickled so green you... plums. This is not an olive. This is a plum. Plum, yes. yes. The important is that the pregnant ladies, you know, always, you know, they look, you know, something to eat. Mm. I mean, now that you can find every, everything in all over the world. But mm -hmm. when you go to old days, it was only one way to preserve so they can find so everything. So they always can yes. feed the pregnant woman. Yes. And that's why pregnant women, like, Pickles with chocolate. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> right. The pickle juice is very important. But it, now, no, you're just inventing this now. Right? No, 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 no. I mean, I. It's a real drink. Of course, it's a real drink. It's not like that time you put salt in my coffee, is it? <laughs> I don't, no, no, no. One pickle juice going down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is really salty. 
walking the streets looking for street food, you'll sometimes find more than you were looking for. Here are only but a few examples. You can fall in love with a girl. You can fall in love with a city. And I've got news for you. You can fall in love with dessert. Believe me, it happened to me in Paris. Rue Montergueil is one of the most ancient and central streets in Paris. The bourgeois used to come here but they would actually never set their foot on the street. They were carried in special chairs, choosing their goods on the way. Allez, on y va. Ah. Hello. Hello. I saw outside a sign it says uh, 1730. What does that mean? Cette maison a été créée en 1730 uh, par un pâtissier qui était le pâtissier du roi Louis XV et qui est uh, le pâtissier qui a inventé le baba au rhum. Les décors ont été créés en 1860 uh, par un décorateur, un peintre, un artiste qui est celui qui a fait les décors du grand foyer de l'Opéra de Paris. Oh, it's only now I know she's, she's carrying what's on the tray there. Alors cette femme illustre deux gâteaux emblématiques dans notre maison. Il y a le baba au rhum et le puits d'amour. What is puits d'amour? Le puits d'amour, voilà, c'est pour oh. it's for you. This is for me. Yes. Gosh, I'm a lucky chap, aren't I? My first puits d'amour. Ce gâteau était un gâteau préféré de Louis XV parce que ça avait une connotation un peu coquine. C'était un gâteau qui était un petit peu considéré comme un gâteau galant à cette époque. A biscuit of love. You like? Oh. I'm falling in love. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm into street food, and I was wondering what would be the most popular dessert where people can just, you know, take and, and be on their way. Alors, le plus populaire, c'est l'éclair au chocolat. Uh -huh. What does that mean, éclair? Éclair, parce que il se mange en un éclair, comme l'éclair euh, dans l'air. Ah, okay. Et les Français, en moyenne, consomment 2 millions d'éclairs en France par jour. Two million of these are consumed a day in France alone. That's unbelievable. Let's see what this is all about. Mm. Oh my God, wow. Now I want to understand one thing. Why are desserts so identified with the French people? Parce que euh, toute la base de la pâtisserie que nous avons encore aujourd'hui au 21e siècle repose sur toutes les recettes qui ont été inventées au 18e siècle. The baba au rhum? Baba au rhum, oui. So which is your specialty? Yes, of course. Could I see? Is this rum? Yes. Oh, so it's swimming in rum. It's a tough job. But somebody's got to do it. And I'm here for you. I'm doing this for you, not for me. Right, here we go. Um, which way do I <laughs> it's attack difficult. it? Mm. Mm. This is unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> if we bring this Avec une cuillère, to, uh, to plus first facile. date, and here, Amour, I brought you a there, and she starts to, oh, my <laughs> Oh, Amour, Amour, I love you, thank you. It's a bit, um... In the Holy Land, like in the Holy Land, miracles can happen. In one pizza bread, you can find the whole world. 
I'll show you what I mean. This is the only place in the world where science and religion finally meet. If you'll ask any rabbi, priest, or imam here in the Mediterranean, they will all agree on one thing. Just like Galileo Galilei said, and yet it moves. The shawarma must always turn around the sun. Right, enough of that. Let's have a bite. Hello. Hello. Ah, oh, what welcome. a smell. Mm, can you <laughs> smell that? My God, that is enormous. Do you see that skewer? That's the biggest skewer of meat I've ever seen in my life. Do you think I can come inside? Yes, come on. OK, great. Yes. We are going right. deep. So what kind of meat is it? The beef and lamb. All right. Together. Together, mix. Yes, mix. If you want to cut it your, for yourself, oh, yes, I serve it. I'm willing to try. Yes. Because I am street Here. food man. Here, take. I am not afraid. Oh, Here. my god. And beware. From up to down. Up to okay. down. A little bit. Yes. Wow, yeah. Beautiful. You cut it. So yeah. Just touch it. You cut it. OK. Did you see that? Good. I'm go. diving in one more time. Here we go. Yeah. Into the furnace. Let's go. Good. Ah. Good. Okay. What's, what's the most popular? Popular in, with the pita. All right. Pita. So let's go yes. for one pita okay. with shawarma. And what are these stuff? Uh, Does this go inside? Sauce. Yes. It's amba. Amba? What's amba? amba? That's uh, from the mango sauce. It's coming from Indians. Mango sauce in the mango. shawarma? Yes. The shawarma, the best one in Middle East in Israel. And now I understand how, you know, that this Israeli cuisine is like a blend. You take, yes. take the whole world, jiggle it up, and then you get Israeli cuisine. Because you have this, you know, you have the, the Turkish shawarma, you have the pita, you have the amba that came all the way from India, yeah. and a few other, the tahina that's very much about tahina, this yes. area. Well, good. Test it. All that that's in one little one. mouth. Good. Food for me is like the theatre. It moves and excites me, it makes me laugh, it makes me cry. I can enjoy contemporary work, but my true love is for the classics. And the tagine I prepared in Marrakesh was definitely a classic. This is the tagine. Finally! <laughs> the tagine I've heard so much about. What, what is tagine? Uh, literally, what does it mean? Uh, tagine, it means plate. Why is it shaped like this? You know why? Because uh -huh. when we cooked, we didn't put water. Okay. Because we cook with steam, it comes up, then it, it comes so down. So it collects the steam yes. and the steam stays yes. inside. So basically yes. the dish will that's cook in its that's own that's juices. Yes, that's it. Right, so how do you make it? I teach you how to make a nice, nice tagine. Okay, okay. where do we start then? Okay, we we'll go. Okay, after you. Half onion for tagine for, for one person. You put your uh, meat? Uh, meat, yes. All right, beef the, and some yes. fat. And yes. So be nice and fatty. <laughs> Two garlic. All right. Carrots. So you put the carrots inside. Spices. All right. Uh, this this is, is we mix it: ginger, black pepper, and cumin. Oh, okay. You put salt, a little of salt. Three then pinches of one salt. One tablespoon of olive oil. So it's very basic ingredients, yes, basically. It's... But because it stays within its own juices, that's what gives it its special taste, right? Yes, the, the that's tagine. it. So whatever cooks longest is on the bottom, yes. and then you go up. All right, okay. that's now it. Now we put it in charcoal. Here we go. All right. And for how long does it have to be on the fire? Normally for one hour. One hour? Yes. All right. Ah, it's still sizzling. Fantastic. It's probably really, really hot. I want the inside stuff. Mmm, mmm, very good. Africa, we love it. Amazing, <laughs> very nice. Normally in, uh, in Marrakesh, we have many tourists. Then people, they change the food. But me, I like to keep it the traditional, traditional Moroccan food. Uh -huh. Because I learned from my mother, coming, my mother from the mountain. 
to so this is the same yes. tagine that's been eaten for hundreds of years? More. One thousand, <laughs> yes. two thousand. For a zillion years, people have been eating exactly this tagine and enjoying every bite. With friends, you can sometimes find yourself doing things you would never do without them. I remember a specific night in Vietnam, Hanoi. What was supposed to be a simple dinner with local friends turned out to be an unexpected adventure. So, so the place. Yeah, that's the special drink that I told you. Oh my yeah. god. That's staring at you. Look at his eyes. It's a cobra, right? It's cobra, it's cobra. Hey. We're gonna get sloshed from snakes. Yeah, you get you get oh the my... power from snake. Okay. It's like the, the, the worm they put in the tequila? No, come no. on, look at this. The worm is like this. I know. This, this is, is the enormous. cobra, man. The whole cobra. Yeah, the whole is cobra, in man. A jar. <laughs> you like cobra vodka? Yes. I yes, like. you do. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Something like good for your health. Why? What, what is it good for? What kind of Viagra? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. So if I drink this, I will be a cobra. A cobra, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's go drink some yeah. cobra vodka then. What's that in there? It's a part of the snake. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's a part of the snake. The snake only has one part. The oh, okay. But the, it's the snake. Oh, no. I think I know what part this is. Oh, my God. God. That's okay. the snake's dingle dangle, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Bam. God. These are like, <laughs> and we're going to drink this. Yes. We gotta drink it. It's probably the most bizarre thing I've ever tasted in my life. Uh, how do you say? Jump and chum. 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 Here we go. I just drank a cup full of snake snake penises vodka. You feel the power? Ah, yes. Yes, I've got the power. Yes. <laughs>